At asking for patience, what the Richardson Police Department is saying about the case of that young girl missing now for nearly 10 days. We do begin with Sharon Matthews' case out of Richardson tonight. I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. I'm Doug Dunbar. Jeff Paul is live for us tonight, right near the family's home, where, Jeff, we understand some volunteers are searching there for the three year old and they're growing pretty frustrated because of the lack of new information. Yeah, Doug, there is an overall sense of frustration among some of the folks who are coming out here, spending the time trying to find Sharon Matthews. But in a statement released tonight by police, they say they appreciate all those efforts by the public, but what they need right now is patience. This is really all we have of Sharon Matthews right now. Pictures, video, and a memorial near the tree her father says he last saw her more than one week ago. Well, the police are doing a lot that's not visible to the public. A lot of it's happening behind the scenes. Former police officer, now attorney Pete Schulte, says he understands the public is growing tired. You know, you hear about all these stories where we have missing individuals, missing children. They'll get a, they'll get search teams together. They'll get people on horseback. You see it all over the country, but in this particular case, it's not happening. That tells me there's not a necessity for it yet. He says police right now are pouring over electronic evidence on social media and security cameras, as well as phone and computer records. The FBI's involvement makes the case even tighter. They're very closed lipped. If you call, they won't even admit that there's an investigation going forward. Schulte says the lack of information released isn't a sign of a lack of investigative work being done. And I think at this point, you know, until we know more information, they're kind of having an idea of where this child is. Schulte says the worst thing anyone can do right now with such a sensitive and important case is to interfere or get in the way of trained detectives. You shouldn't just let it go. Let them do their job. At some point, if the public's help is needed, they'll let us know. Now, what police are asking for right now, any security camera footage showing the family's maroon Acura SUV from that morning that Sharon Matthews disappeared. Now, they do have some video that's been turned over. Police say they are grateful for it, and they are looking at it right now. Reporting live here in Richardson, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News.